we're going to simplify this expression. So let's start by breaking up our square root. We can rewrite this as the square root of 40 times the square root of j to the 8th over the square root of 16 times the square root of k to the 10th. So now we want to think of a perfect square that is a divisor of 40. So we rewrite that as the square root of 4 times 10. And then we can divide our exponent under the square root by 2, leaving us with j to the 4th. And all that is over the square root of 16 is 4. Again, we can divide our exponent by 2, so it's 4 times k to the 5th. And now the square root of 4 is 2, so we can take that out of the square root, and then we still have that 10 in there. That's times j to the 4th. And then all of that is over 4 times k to the 5th. We can take those out of the absolute value because we know that the variables are non-negative real numbers. So here is our final answer.